All right, welcome back to the morning show here on ETV. We are joined by the beautiful, smart, inspiring, empowered, empowering young woman who is on a quest to make a positive change in her community, but also just across the country. The current Miss Soweto Ludinangwenya is the ultimate beauty with brains, and she's here with us today to chat about how she is encouraging young women and girls to embrace who they are by being their true authentic selves. Really looking forward to this conversation. Ludina Salbona, welcome to the morning show. Good morning. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much for gracing us with your presence. We appreciate it. I mean, at the end of last year, it was in, in November when you were crowned the new Miss Soweto. This is really a huge role and a lot of, you know, formidable young women from the township really, uh, you know, wants to have a go at, at this particular title. How, how did it feel? How does it feel even now? I mean, it's only been, what, two months? How does it feel to wear the crown of Miss Soweto? It actually feels so amazing. I sometimes still have to, like, just pinch myself. Okay, like, you are Miss Soweto, you actually yeah. um, did get the crown. <laughs> you will like inspire people because mm -hmm. that's what I've always wanted to do mm -hmm. and just make young girls and women believe in themselves because that's that's what I had to do. I had to believe in myself a lot. I had to push myself. I had to push society's beauty standards away in order for me to get what I want and yeah. be the representation that I've always wanted to see when I was growing up. I really like that. And have you? are there any projects that you've already started on um, as, as, as you try and get on this journey to inspire young women to really be proud of, of who they are? Yes, yeah, so I've opened a Facebook um, account well something ah, happened to it yes. and what I've been getting a lot is w young women actually telling me listen I was so insecure about myself I couldn't show my scars to the world because I felt like um, they broke me down or I wasn't good enough especially for the pageant industry mm -hmm. so you really inspired me one message that really touched me was one girl who sent me a message and she said to me um, I wore a skirt for the first time so for the first time I was able to get into society without being ashamed of my scars of thinking that they are ugly just because of you and that really really touches my heart because yeah. i know exactly what it feels like oh my gosh that is that is so beautiful and i suppose when you get those kinds of responses it is also very reassuring for you Guti, you are actually on the right track it really is because i always felt like i was alone because mm. i feel like when you grow up with a visible difference you don't get to see in many other people and the reason for that yeah. I really do believe is because we're trying to hide so when you hide you don't get to showcase who you are and people can't really relate mm -hmm. but as soon as you actually just step into your comfort zone and I mean get out of your comfort zone and do what you are meant to do and mm. believe in yourself you get to see how other people can actually relate to you yeah. as well yeah and I mean we've seen a lot of, of pageant queens who who really have you know tried to strip us off this this mentality and ideology of these beauty standards that have been set when it comes to pageants right we mm. saw Uzozi who rocked her natural hair and I'm looking at you now we saw Ushu do, do the same thing Sasha Lee Olivier went through the same thing when she was actually body shamed because of her, her body size as well as her shape. Why do you think it's important, Ludina, for, 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 for women in, in, in pageantries, to, in, in pageants, to be able to take up, um, you know, social justice, for instance, and, and talk about issues of mental, um, mental illness, just like U Ushudu uh, is trying to do? You know, pageants are becoming a space where women are raising their voices about the challenge that we, that we face in mm. society. And with that as well, we are bringing up conversations that people were probably too scared to speak about. Yeah. So we're literally just being a ground shaking in terms of, um, you know, conversations, like what, which conversations are we having in society? Mm -hmm. And it's really important that we have such conversations. And also the whole beauty standards, breaking these beauty standards, is very important because I sometimes get people who ask me like why are people who are maybe a bit thicker like not into pageants and stuff yeah. and I also say it's also up to you if you don't see the representation that you want to see then do it who else is going to do it if yeah. you don't do it yeah. and that's how I felt that's why I also decided no listen I've been searching for this representation mm. so why not be the person that I want to see 
you know? And it's, it's so beautiful to see that uh, there is the change and transformation that is happening when it comes to pageants. But let's, let's go back to Miss, uh, uh, Miss Soweto and speak about some of the demands that are there when you are Miss Soweto and, and how you are navigating those uh, challenges, if there are any challenges. Well, the pageant happened on the 27th of November and not much has been happening. Right. I mean, we had a whole Christmas and all of that, so I'm still trying to like settle down. Yeah. So not, not too much has been happening so far so good yeah. and also with everything that happens you also still need to maintain a level of uh, mental health as in uh, you need to be <laughs> <laughs> okay by that I, I literally mean like uh, how you plan things so you yes, can't be yes. too tired too fatigued and mm. stuff so I also still need to get a bit of a rest yes navigate see how and, to and navigate speaking of, of getting a bit of a rest you are also a student so I, you are studying towards your B ed with uh, this mm -hmm. tell us about about that and your love for children because <laughs> as soon as I asked you about that earlier on you just your face just lit up yeah, children have always been at the center of my heart. It's actually um, something that I believe that I was born to, to do. Yeah. Simply because um, I grew up playing with young children. So I'm literally that varsity student <laughs> that gets home from holidays and then my house would be so full of children. And people would think like, what do you do with such young children? Yes. What do you play with them? I also don't know, but whatever it is, it really is quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> and and how, how do you think this experience, Ludina, is going to help you, um, as you as you pursue the professional side of things as probably a foundation phase teacher when you're done with your degree? It really will help me in inspiring young children, especially those who were, who were like me, who are like me, who have been probably like hiding themselves because I hid myself for a very long time, simply because I was bullied so much. So I believe that me being a foundation-based teacher, I will be standing up for the younger me and for other children who would possibly go through what I went through. So we are in conversation with Miss Soweto Ludina Nguenya. If you also want to get in on this conversation, you're more than welcome to send us your voice notes on 072-4116528. Maybe you have a question for Ludina or a comment for her. Those will be very much welcome. Mm -hmm. For now, though, we take a short air break. We'll come back with more. gentlemen, the winner of the 42nd annual Miss Soweto pageant goes to Ludina Gwenya! Beautiful, beautiful moment. Ludina, take us back to that moment when you heard your name being announced as the 42nd Miss Soweto. What went through your mind? How were you feeling? I was so excited. It was all the months of, of hard work. I mean, Miss Soweto with the White Star brand, they yeah. do so much for the girls. Yeah. I mean, each girl, I do believe that we all came out with something that we can use in the future. Thanks. It's about celebrating beauty, grace, and determination. Yeah. And one thing that I really love is how White Star and the Miss Soweto platform was able to actually make my dreams come true. Because yes. one of my biggest dreams was to build my mommy house. Oh, and I've beautiful. been managing to, to do that and it really warms my heart. I am so grateful. It's like validation it. of, of my dreams. The fact that it doesn't matter where you come from, yeah. but what matters is your mindset. What matters is you believing in yourself 
and you taking each and every opportunity that comes your way. I so like that, that moment was so beautiful for me. Right. It really was just a, a dream come true. And were you standing there really just like saying your own name in your head? Because I've, I've entered competitions and whenever they're about to, uh, do, to, to say who the winner is, I think it's going to be someone else. <laughs> I'm, I'm just standing there like, yeah, well, I did this, but I don't think I'm going to win. So were you like really standing there and thinking, they're going to say Butina? You know, I've actually... Uh, kind of like had moments where I was practicing and I was like, you are the next Miss Soweto. Because you need to believe in yes. yourself. The reason why you enter a competition also in the first place is because you also believe yeah. that you are going to grow, that yeah. you can also, like, you know what, um, take the title. Yeah. So I believed in myself. I worked for it. We all worked for it. I like and that. I was just so, so happy. Yeah. It was just a, a dream come true, basically. I yeah. am so grateful. White Star is changing lives it's changing mine right now yeah i guess that's why i only entered miss zita tele primary school once and i never did it again let's speak about the work that white star is is doing i mean you keep mentioning them and it really sounds like they are doing a lot talk to us about some of the work that they're doing so white star gave me an amazing sponsor a prize like i said yeah and one of my dream was to actually build my mommy house mm -hmm. and that's what i'm currently doing i mean uh, I, don't, I don't know how to like express it but I am so grateful for it because going through school, I always, you know, when the family is looking up to you and yeah. then you have, you, it sometimes feels like it's, it's such a burden. Yeah. So I believe that White Star also like just lifted off that burden for me and just gave me validations that, you know what, you are worth it. You will make it. Actually, you are making it and you are great. And I mean, Ludina, you have such a powerful, powerful story that is very inspirational. But what has the pageant taught you about yourself? That it, you, you know, probably something that you did not know about yourself. It really taught me that I am great just the way I am, mm -hmm. that I do not have to change myself, that no one ever has to change themselves. The world needs you as you are. Yeah. And when you come to the world as your authentic self, you are able to inspire other people. Other people are able to relate to you. I mean, coming from a township, yeah. and yeah, so coming from a township, um, it, it's just validations. It doesn't matter where you come from. What matters is your mindset. What matters is your goal and how you achieve them. They I like that. <laughs> How has your community you. received you, Ludina? I mean, you know, you keep referring to the township as well. How have they received you? You are from Midlands. Bunjan. Uh, you know what? It has been absolutely great. So it's like you just brought a win for the community. Appreciation, lots of love. My family is yeah. like so happy. My grandmother, oh my word, she is so proud. She tells me how, how proud she is yes. of me and how she... I don't and know, I suppose I, even yeah. for, 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 for young girls in, in Midlands who grew up around you, who are seeing you now, um, you know, making all of this kind of success, it's mm. also validation for them and to them to say, I can also do it. I can also make it. Yeah, true. But also, I didn't grow up in, in Midlands. Right. I grew up in different parts. So okay. I grew up, yeah. So I didn't grow up there, but the family is, is, is there. So mm. I'm still keeping the family culture, you know, representing yes. my family. So I really hope that they are all, all proud. They are, because sometimes, like, when I'm in, everyone wants to like, just, like, take pictures. And, yeah. Yeah, that girl. So. All right, so, Ludina, we've also asked our viewers to get in on the conversation. Maybe they have maybe. some questions for you, maybe mm. some comments. Are you ready for those? Yes. All right, let's, let's listen get. to some of your voice notes. Morning, morning, show. Hi, Lubina. Uh, congratulations for winning Miss Soweto. And Kikopa Hoboza can I don't want to also come more. Lena, she's been doing modeling. Kit is a John for a corner for Motola for a a corner for Canela de Page and Telequena. Thank you. So that's a, that's a question, and uh, she's saying she has uh, her sister's uh, child, I think, who, who also wants to go into modeling. What, what advice would you have for them? How can they help her to get into pageantry? You know, it's really to believe in yourself. Take every opportunity that comes your way. And I've right. been getting that question a lot. So I am planning on actually having a workshop where we're going to talk all things pageantry. Because another thing, especially with uh, modeling, is 
it's not always about talking, it's also about doing it. Doing, yeah. So people ask me, yeah. how do you get into the fashion industry? Well, it's not really about the talking, it's about how you're going to walk. So I'm planning a, a workshop that's going to answer all of that. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be imparting some of the skills that I have learned over the years. Because right. believe it or not, I've done it all by myself. So it's not like I was trained through an agency or anything. It's just mm. I've been like self taught. Right. Yeah. Ludina, where do we find you? How do we follow your work? If you want to see what you're involved in, maybe there's some people from Soweto or other townships who also, you know, want to get in on some of the work that you're doing. Where do we find you? My Instagram handle is Ludina Nguenya at underscore. Yeah, sorry. 